So recently, I've been using these new thermal imaging cameras for your smartphone, the FLIR one and the Seek Thermal Compact. If you don't know what they are, they basically give you that predator-like vision through your smartphone. There are these attachable infrared cameras that measure heat signatures, and they're both $250 and the more notable thermal imaging cameras in the market. So it begs the question, which of these two is the superior one? First, let's talk about what they are. So basically, these cameras can distinguish cold and warm spots in a frame. And the cool thing about it is that you're able to see through the darkness. So even in the dark, you could see stuff in front of you with the aid of the camera and your smartphone. And you can even see different types of heat signatures. And there's a lot of case uses for them. For example, you can see piping behind walls. You can see a draft that might be coming through a house due to its poorly installed window. Now, if you're hunting the wild, you could even see some of the animals there that you wouldn't see otherwise. Okay, let's talk about the first one here, the FLIR 1 camera. The best part about it is that it has superior image quality and produces finer details thanks to its two camera configuration. One is for the thermal imaging stuff and the other one is a regular snapshot. So basically they combine the two images to produce a final one that has superior quality. It's also significantly faster in how it analyzes heat signatures. You have a sturdier looking design and a lot more shooting modes like panoramics and whatnot. The only downside to is that it runs on its own battery, so it's gonna require charging once it's dead. And it's a little bit bulkier in size. Its rival is the Seek Thermal Compact, and as its name implies, it definitely has the more compact size between the two. We also like it because there's no recharging required, no built-in battery, it just utilizes the power off your smartphone and comes with a waterproof case. However, it has poor details capture with images and subjects. They tend to look a little bit more on the blotchy side than anything else. And it's also slower with its thermal analyzing. It's always constantly clicking to readjust. And there's not as many shooting modes either. That's pretty cool that you could use both cameras to measure heat signatures in a scene. There's a lot of case usage for them. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna spend $250, you might as well put it into the FLIR one because it has superior image quality that's unrivaled. And on top of that, you have a wider field of view. The one with the Seek Thermal Compact is a little bit more narrow, so you don't capture as much of the scene.